Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and pick some cards to see how your person is feeling about you. What would they say to you? Where is this headed? And any other messages we can get from the cards here, okay? So the first card we have here is, ooh, Akilanda, the goddess of never not broken. Everything happens for my liberation. I only choose to become more love. You guys, this situation, this connection with your SP is calling on you to love yourself even more, okay? To love yourself deeper and harder and stronger than you ever have before. And you know, the more you see this, you know, as a positive thing, like, like, oh you know this is happening for my growth this is happening for something good this is happening for me to be and feel loved more than ever before then you know your sp will come back in and reflect that your sp does want to love you i do feel like they have love for you i do feel like they care about you and you know that's why like you know um whatever happened happened i feel like your sp really cares about you because you know they want to like you know they, they maybe they came in and they shook up your world for you to realize like hey you deserve to be loved but you need to realize that yourself before i can come in and do that okay um yeah we also got rita of kasha uh Cass i don't know how to say that but the patroness of impossible causes i am miraculous my prayers create powerful channels of possibility you guys i feel like something has happened in this connection where you're just like okay it's impossible that we'll get together the chances of them coming back are slim to none i mean there's first of all nothing is ever impossible there's always a small chance like 0.1 percent even 0.001 percent of anything nothing is ever actually truly impossible okay um there's never like a zero percent chance of anything even if someone says okay there's zero percent chance that we'll get back together i have zero feelings for you it does not it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it never matters there's always a chance, always, always, always. But you just have to tell yourself like, nope, nope, like this is working for me. Um, I, I can, you know, I am miraculous. I do believe in miracles, you know? I mean, you shouldn't see anything as miracles, just like you changing your mindset, but you need to understand that like anything can change, anything can and will shift. And as long as you like continue to affirm, continue to persist, like your person will come back your sp has to conform okay um your specific person has to conform and i feel like they want to do that for you guys sorry like a lot of my tarot readings are literally like you know um manifestation advice because i feel like you know um you deserve to have your person you know you shouldn't like have you know watch a bunch of videos just to see how they're feeling right like i mean it's, it's okay to sometimes do a check-in and I'm, I'm, I'm i do tarot readings and i'm telling you guys like limit yourself okay like you don't need to watch a bunch of tarot readings like you know every single day or every single week just know that they're yours because i do feel like you guys for a lot of you they do have a lot of love for you i really do feel like you know um you're a person that can like feel the warmth that can like like feel them sending love towards your way okay they they have a lot of love for you they do care about you okay and i feel like you know this has channels of possibility they're gonna come back in and find some sort of channel some sort of window of opportunity there is a window of opportunity coming up and they're going to like you know like take that on they're gonna be like okay this is my opportunity i have to do something i have to speak up or else i'll lose this person forever i'm seeing that this person is really scared that they're gonna lose lose you forever if they don't act soon like if they don't act fast enough like i feel like it's like kind of hitting them that like okay you could be moving on for good i mean i don't know if you actually are or not but like i feel like you know they are like they miss you they wake up with like a pang in their stomach like you know and they miss you and you know they could be doing certain things to get over you but they haven't gotten over you guys i really feel like they do a lot to try, try and move on and get over you they just don't they just don't it's really hard for them to do that okay it doesn't matter how stubborn you think they are they're not over you okay um oh we also got green tara the buddha of enlightened action my soul informs my every step i do what my heart compels me to do you guys like that's the thing they're going to be finally listening to their heart i feel like they were listening to their logical mind that was saying like oh this isn't going to work because of this and this circumstance but now they're just like you know what no i want to listen to my heart i want to go after you i want to be with you i want to at least give this a chance because i feel like uh the both of you didn't really get a fair chance and you know they're just like well that's not fair and like you know again i keep hearing there's like a horn what, what even was that wow okay i keep hearing messages that i'm not over you i tried really hard to get over you it just didn't work i everything that i did like made me think of you even more okay they're gonna come back in and literally tell you that um yeah we got the seven of wands yeah you guys this person i feel like is waiting on the right time there is some sort of timing um that's coming up for the both of you i don't necessarily want to say it's divine timing but it's just more your subconscious mind's timing because your subconscious mind maybe at the time didn't really feel safe for this person to like be in your life but your subconscious mind is highly intelligent and knows when it's the right time and you know the, the cool thing is that you can program your subconscious mind to accelerate certain things okay so um manifestation i do want to let you know there is a self-concept challenge going on on my patreon as well as um 
you know, science challenge, also on Patreon, where we get together as a group and collectively manifest for each other, which amplifies and accelerates our individual manifestations. So if you want to be part of a like-minded group, do check that out. The link to that will be in the description box below. But let's see what else is going on. Yeah, we got temperance. Yeah, you guys, like, this person wants to, like, you know, do the most for you. This person, like, wants to show you what a beautiful relationship looks like, you know. They want to, like, you know, balance the skills. Like, I feel like, you know, there, there's definitely something we need to talk about. Like, I, there's a conversation that needs to be had, and I feel like this can't be over text. Like, this needs to be, like, either face-to-face -face or on the phone or on FaceTime or like video call or something like that. And I feel like you're going to be receiving that contact, that communication, okay? We also got here the Page of Swords. Your person stalks you every day. Your person thinks about you every day. They have not stopped thinking about you. They have not stopped like looking you up. They still, even if you're blocked, they're blocked. It doesn't matter. You live in their mind rent free, rent freaking free, okay? Um, we also got here the page of cups. I do feel like this person is going to be coming in and like telling you like, hey, you know, like they're going to start being a little bit more vulnerable. They're going to start opening up. And I feel like this wasn't really the person that was opening up at, at all, actually. Maybe they showed you they liked you, but it just wasn't enough or like, you, you know, like you knew that there was something going on but like you know something happened and like but i feel like they're getting back to that like state of mind where they're just like oh you know, I, I do remember all the good times that we had and you guys i feel like even if something negative happened like this person is only thinking of the good times i don't know that you know that but like sometimes like you know when you do manifest for someone to come back in you're manifesting the right way you're using like the right words like oh they only remember the good things about me they that's what they do like they only remember the good things that you did for them um the good aspects of this connection and like that's what they think about the most because even you know for a lot of you guys you tend to romanticize you know certain people right like oh even though they did this bad thing like you know well they did a lot of these good things and for the most part there was more good than bad right like you know i feel like this person's gonna like come back in and romanticize you this is definitely like the romanticized card it's actually associated with pisces which has to do with like the 12th house and of like you know daydreaming and like you know um like yeah i mean pisces are known to kind of like daydream like you know fantasize and stuff like that and you know the 12th house of like dreams and illusions and yeah you guys i feel like anything any timeline or reality where you're not together with your person it's an illusion and do not give in to the illusion stop perpetuating the illusion okay um i am seeing pisces energy i'm seeing some fire sign energy aries leo sagittarius i am seeing libra aquarius energy sun moon rising venus nine of pentacles you guys this person doesn't want to give up on you they don't want to give up on this connection um they see you as someone who's really independent ambitious someone who has a lot going on for them okay yeah we got the devil i do feel like you know this person did give into some devilish tendencies and this could even be the lens with which you're viewing them through you're just like oh my gosh like what is going on with this person why do they keep disappointing me um you know just math station tip don't say that don't say that they're disappointing you say that like oh they're always making you proud you know they make you proud to be their partner they're doing everything right they're so perfect why are they so loyal and committed to me okay and this devilish you know you'll never get the devil card in a tarot reading ever okay but i even feel like you know sometimes this has to do with you okay because like the nine of pentacles is a very individualistic card and the fact that this is clarifying the nine of pentacles uh, this could be you're giving into your devilish tendencies which are you know thinking negative thoughts complaining right like you can never have like you know the life that you want if you keep thinking you know negatively yeah we also got here the four of wands i'm seeing here with this four of wands you guys like you know this person wants more this person wants commitment this person wants to like you know um really just you know like this is like the wedding card the celebration and the happy marriage like you know they want all of this with you they're just like wow like you know i really want to be together you know i want i want to tie the knot i want to be in this beautiful amazing happy healthy relationship i want to be there for you i want to be the best partner that you've ever had we also got here the lovers at the bottom of the deck so that's amazing okay twin flame reunion you know i feel like the love here is so strong that it's going to overcome anything negative that you've been experiencing in this relationship but i i feel like i feel like for a lot of you guys you have you're just like okay your person has to do a lot to make things up to you and they will definitely do that okay let me go ahead and pick some more cards yeah we got i've been dreaming about you yeah okay i knew i was getting 12 tasks energy for a reason they have been dreaming about you they have recently dreamt about you we are already together in the 5d laughing at the 3d um i think about you every day no one even comes close to you this is so true you guys you live in their mind rent free but so yeah, i want to marry you someday they do want to marry you they do want to like you know oh my gosh like we literally got the four wands which is the wedding card so you know that is something that they're gonna like ask to do like they're gonna be like oh my gosh like like, like you know you and me let's do this um but you guys and they want things to be fair to you okay they never want you to be in a connection where you're giving more than they are and i feel like they want you to say that they actually respect you more when you say that it's like you know you feel like you're doing too much and they're not doing enough just you know tell yourself like hey i'll only do this if you do this i want things to be fair i feel like you know they want you to feel good and comfortable in this connection they want to make you feel safe and secure i feel like you really have the ability to unlock that sort of energy within them for a lot of you if you're asking about a ma masculine they want to protect you they want to provide for you if you're asking about a feminine they want to be 
soft for you, okay? Um, but you just have to activate that within yourself so you can activate that within them, okay? Um, yeah, join the Patreon if you want to know how. I uh, give a lot of self-concept challenges and yeah, or a lot of self-concept affirmations for you to reach those goals. And yeah, I will end the video right here, okay? I also offer in-depth hair readings as well as manifestation coaching and also custom make subliminal. So if you're interested in any of these services, check out the description box below where you will find my website and you can sign up for those services through my website. And yeah, I will end the video right here. Thank you so much. Love and light.